All right, we are here with the legend, filmmaker, writer, actor, you kind of do everything. Mr. Barry Levinson, thank you for being with us. Thanks. Uh, how do you feel about the, the Florida Film Festival? What kind of sets it apart from other film festivals that, that you've been to? Well, I mean, I think it's early to say because it just, you know, got here last night. So yeah. uh, aside from the fact that it's a great surroundings, I had no idea. I was just thinking of some theater, but this is a this is a beautiful setting right here. Yeah. And so here we, we talk about it's, it's family, it's fun, it's friends and film. And so, and you being here is just a great entity to be you know talking about like well, Central Florida you. yeah thank absolutely. you very much what are you looking forward to with the q and I mean the, the, you have had a long career and I bet you've had a lot of questions over the years yeah I mean I don't know I mean it's just it, you know if you can get a uh, and I hear they're very good audiences here and um, and very knowledgeable so you know it's fun to sometimes talk about you know some of the movies that you know I've done and find out some of the questions that might come up that are interesting to you know to talk about and just share certain stories with uh, the audience. Absolutely. And here in Orlando, because it's such a, we have the Full Sail, we have UCF, Rollins, a lot of different schools that have good theater programs mm -hmm. and film programs. So there's going to be a lot of students here. So uh, what good. kind of, yeah, what kind of advice would you want to give them to those upcoming, you know? Oh, God, these... it's very hard to give advice. I mean, <laughs> uh, it's almost impossible. I think, you know, what happens is if you, um, if that's an interest, then you have to find a way to pursue it. And if you've got the stamina for it, yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, because, you know, believe me, it's not, it's not an easy road to go down, and I can't even really explain to you uh, the best way to approach it. I right. mean, it's obviously, it's good to go to a film school, it's good to, to study uh, acting, those things are helpful, and it's good to, to know something about writing and, and character development, but beyond that, it's a, it's a journey that each individual takes and finds their own path. Absolutely. On, on the long journey that you've had, uh, what would you say was one of your biggest successes, personal goals that you've uh, reached and, and are really uh, proud about? I never had a specific goals that I wanted to huh. aspire to because I never thought of being in the business. You know, I mean, I grew up in Baltimore and, you know, I wouldn't know anything about the film business or I knew anybody in the business. So I didn't think of ever writing or directing or doing any of that. So that sort of happened by uh, studying um, in an acting school for several years. And then from that, I began to think about writing and it went from that. Wow. So, so it was an organic kind of travel. Yeah, as opposed to a specific goal in mind. I, I didn't have that kind of goal. Yeah. Do you think it was easy to do that as it compared to coming with kind of preconceived notions of what you I don't did? know what's an easier way to go. Yeah. I mean, my big, one of my big you know, ambitions in life was not to work in my father's appliance store. <laughs> yeah, that was good uh, enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know uh, what's the easy way or the best way. Absolutely. Well, what's next for you? You know, uh, you've, you've been working, and is there something that you haven't done that you would want to do or work with a specific? Well, I'm doing that now. I mean, I'm working on uh, Diner, uh, the musical that uh, Cheryl Crow did the music for, and uh, we open in um, San Francisco in the early fall and uh, Broadway in uh, uh, February next year. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So that's that's a complete departure for me, something I haven't done before. Yeah, so you're, you're still crossing boundaries and still trying to do a new thing. Yeah, and I did a very small, inexpensive movie for like $2 million called The Bay. The Bay. Sort of an ecological thriller that um, will come out, I think, sometime toward the latter part of this year. Oh, and just in time for Earth Day, which is tomorrow, which is awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a big, it's a, it, we shot it, you know, for $2 million using a lot of, uh, digital cameras and uh, all types of digital cameras, or, you know, not, not the real high end, but right. a lot of the consumer uh, digital cameras. Are you seeing that with like new technology this day and age, it's, everything's really digital? You know, yeah. is that a kind of a trend you see yourself going in? I or? don't think it's a trend, it's about the technology. I mean, yeah. you know, anybody can tell a story uh, because there's a way to, to capture it. Right. You know, it's not like you had to have the giant 35 millimeter camera with all the film. I mean, anybody, whether you have an iPhone or whatever, you can tell a story. Yeah. Um, and so that's a big change. Mm. And so I was using all of these uh, various uh, digital platforms to tell this story um, in a very ragged kind of way almost. So it was, uh, it was interesting to play that way. Yeah, awesome. Well, looking forward to see the film and definitely check out the next one coming out, The Bay. Yes, awesome. The Bay. Well, thank you so much, Mary, and I'm um, looking forward to the Q&A. Okay, great. Right. Good, Good to see you. Mm -hmm.